All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. I'm coming early because I have some work to do. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, something new today came up. Uh, Andrew Tate, you know, as usual, I mean, this guy is just a mentally ill person. He's sick. He's not only a criminal, he's really sick. Um, there's no question that this person, he worship himself and he, he have a mental problem. But you know, this, uh, this piece of garbage, after he converted to Islam, he took his garbage with him into Islam. And now the Muslims are trying to deal with it. Uh, so if you look at the post in the front of you, this is his post today, he made in uh, Twitter. I am your Lord, bow to me. Now, if you see the comments down in, the, in Twitter, some Muslim condemned him, says this is blasphemy or out of Islam. This is a statement of out of Islam. And there is some Muslim says, no, I don't mean it. <laughs> but, to show, but just to show you how the, how the hypocrisy, how, how much they are so desperate for such a pimp. I mean, what kind of religion? They are defending a pimp. I mean, the guy, he say he's God, it's okay for them. He say bow down to me, it's okay for them. Uh, he don't mean it, brother, you know. <laughs> And this is uh, this is the scumbag, uh, Ali Lili Dawa. Lili Dawa is explaining to them what's wrong with that. What's wrong with that? <laughs> and look at the title of Lili Dawa himself. He is saying, and Rotate calls himself Allah. <laughs> All right, Muslim reacts. I like your reaction. And look at his face. I mean, this guy is getting more and more ugly and weird. So, uh, Lili Dawa, he will explain to you, I mean, this guy is a Muslim, brother. And notice here, the first line, I mean, the, the, the proof that he is a Muslim, look at the F word in the, in the first line. <laughs> Say it without the F, <laughs> with the F, uh, F. <laughs> He's a Muslim, brother. He's a Muslim. He's a decent Muslim. So let us hear what Lili Dawa is going to explain to us what's going on. Look at this face. Go. I say you're a Muslim, meaning you've submitted. Iman comes after. So now. See? He submitted. Iman come after. <laughs> he surrendered to Islam. Iman, which means faith, come later, later. It's not important. <laughs> what a great religion. Lily, I like it when you do your, you know, you, you sound like an, an Indian girl doing dancing, something like that. You are getting skinny, man. Are you having some kind of disease? Are you okay? Listen carefully. The faith come later. He now he's a Muslim. Faith come later? Yeah, it's like marriage. You marry the women first and love come later. <laughs> Explain to those ignorant. Go ahead. Do not say that you have believed. Rather say you're a Muslim, meaning you've submitted. Iman comes after. So now, here is the statement that he made. Which was, say it again without the effort. Say it properly with respect. I am your Lord. Then I will diamond hands your coin. Bow to me. So now, obviously, from an external, when you're looking at this, obviously, it, 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 it looks problematic. We cannot clear cut, come and say, this is shit. It can. We cannot. Listen, we cannot. The guy, he said, he just said he is God. And he just said, bow to me. But brother, we cannot say clean cut. This is shirk. We cannot. We cannot. Sorry. I mean, come on. What he said, he just said, I am Lord. I am your Lord. <laughs> And bow to me, <laughs> brother. We cannot say that this is a very clean shirk. <laughs> the most lovable. You are a pimp, Lili Dawa. What is your dignity, man? You have a dignity? Oh, sorry, I called you a man. You know, it doesn't work with you. I hope the Democrat in America would not sue me. Because you have the right to remain silent or to talk and tell everybody that you are a woman. So what do you mean? Faith come after 
he converted to Islam first and faith come after? So why you say he become a Muslim? Oh, because faith come after. <laughs> How many times I told you that Islam have nothing to do with believing? <laughs> this is the this is the garbage. You know, you know the junk. Do you know what junk is? Even junk can be recycled. This is a religion. Collect the junk who they are junky. Any junkie, a drug dealer, a criminal, a rapist, a whore, Islam take. You believe, you don't believe, who care? Just say Shahada. Faith come later, later. What if never come? I mean, the guy is a Muslim now for three years. What do you mean faith come later? <laughs> he go naked on, 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 on YouTube and he keeps saying the F word every two seconds and he, he, he make those like poo poo all the time saying he is God, worship me. And the matrix, <laughs> by the way, uh, Lee Dawa, do you think the matrix is the kind of form of a genie? Like base, like you, you grow a beard now, supposed to you became a sheikh. I mean, I think you became a sheikh since you're a teenage. Oh, sorry, maybe you don't have it there between your legs. Yeah, because you know, like in, the, in Iran, uh, uh, Iranian police they grow a beard, secret police. I mean. But some, sometimes secret police, they go in a mission. So they have to shave their beard. But when they go inside a coffee shop or a restaurant, they don't pay as all Islamic Islamic police. So the guy, he sat in the restaurant and the waiter came to him and he said, sir, you have to pay. He said to him, I'm a police. He said to him, what is the beard? He opened his zipper. So I want you to open your zipper if you are a man and tell us how in the world what this guy he said is not clear being apostate from Islam. He called himself God. He said, bow to me, brother, sister. It's not a clear. <laughs> the statement that he made, which was, say it again without the effort. Say it properly with respect. I am your Lord. Then I will diamond hands your coin. Bow to me. So now, obviously, from an external, when you're looking at this, obviously, it, 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 it looks problematic. We cannot clear-cut come and say, this is shirk. It can. It can. It can. To be honest with you, listen carefully, brother. Brother and sister, listen carefully. It can. It can be not. It can. It can. It can. But it can be not. But it's not a clear-cut, you know. I mean, what is a clear-cut in this garbage cult? The guy, he just said, I'm God, bow down to me. <laughs> it's not, it's, uh, hold on, it can, but it cannot, cannot, can, can, can Allah have a son without having a girlfriend? <laughs> no, Allah said, how can I have a son without a girlfriend? <laughs> can Andrew Tate consider now as an apostate? It, it, how he can, how he can be called apostate? He just called himself God and he said, bow down to me. What a big deal. I mean, it isn't obvious he's still a Muslim. In fact, he just said, me and Allah is one. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Clean your teeth, man. You scared the hell of me. What the heck is that? Are they those yours? Or you took them from somebody in a speaker corner? I did not understand you. See it again, please. Admitted. Iman comes after. So, now, here is the statement that he... What, what? Mu'min is a Muslim, but not every Muslim is a Mu'min. That's oh. what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the Bedouins in the Quran. That, do not say that you have believed. Rather, say you're a Muslim, meaning you've submitted. Iman See? comes after. So... And by the way, the word submitted is a lie. It says there, you surrender. This is why they didn't believe. They surrender in war. They converted to Islam. Like, a, a Muslim is somebody... He says shahada, it doesn't matter if you believe or not. And there's some they convert for a benefit, like in the time of Muhammad, uh, so they can get a good job or get shares of booty and to be safe. So nobody will kill them because the Muslims are criminals. So uh, uh, many of them, they converted to Islam and they don't believe. And that's what he's talking about. The Bedouin, Muhammad, he forced them to convert. But he said to them, don't say you are a Muslim. You see, he lied when he said the word submission. The word is in Arabic. Don't say we are Muslims. We did Islam. Islamna mean we surrender. For faith never enter your heart. Never, never. You do not know what is believe and you don't have faith. So he's quoting this 
and he is telling you that Andrew Tate is the same story. But you see the problem here, those people there in the verse you are quoting for us, you idiot, they did not say we are God and bow down to me. I mean, do you see how donkey you are? So now you see this guy, there's the other guy, his name is Daniel, Daniel Hitchcock, Hitchcock, I don't know what his name. Everybody is different, and, and look how filthy the language. The guy go naked, he's smoking, he's drinking, and still Muslim have no problem. Now the, the guy, he said, I'm Allah, bow down to me, still they have no problem. Because all of them, they are a bunch of a scumbag, all what they care that this whore, Andrew Tate, stay as a Muslim, and this is where promote Islam. But this is telling us what kind of a quality. The one who bring a pimp to be in his display, he must be a person who worship a pimp too. For when you, you see, we Christians, we have saint. Saint. You Muslims have pimps. Your prophet was a pimp. Aisha, she was a whore. If you don't believe me, go and watch the videos of the Shia. They have all her stories. Sleeping with this guy, with that guy, teaching them how to masturbate, teaching them how to clean the orgasm, teaching them how to dry it, teaching them how to scratch it, teaching them how to shake it. All this garbage, this is Aisha, the mother of the believers. If the mother of the believers is a whore, so what you accept from this whore, Ayudawa? Defending the guy who he just said, I am God, worship me. The Muslim did die asking us, show me where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Show me, show me. <laughs> Do you see the hypocrisy? The guy, he just said, I am God. I am Allah. A bunch of us come back. They tell us more, tell us more, so we can hear more. Now, here is the statement that he made, which was, say it again without the effort. Say it properly with respect. Why you don't say the F word? I mean, your prophet, he says, go and bite the penis of your father. Are you polite now? I mean, why your nose is growing? Listen, Abdul, you buy fertilizer, manure, you put it for the plant, not in your nose. I mean, your life is getting bigger. Uh, uh, he said, uh, "If it, no, he did not say if it. Read it, read it there. <laughs> the good religious person. Say it again. Without what? This is without it. Really? <laughs> okay. If I am your Lord, then I will diamond hands your coin. Bow to me." So now, obviously, from an external, when you're looking at this, obviously, it, 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 it looks problematic. We cannot clear-cut come and say, we this cannot. is shit. It can, it can, you can insinuate that. It now, can. obviously, the people come and say, you know, brother, you know, the Salaf would say, if we saw our brother drenched in alcohol, we would say somebody poured over the head. If we saw our brother... Uh, uh, I want to know how in the world Muslim understand this guy. Do you have a diarrhea? I mean, there is something wrong with your brain. If you watch the video from the beginning, actually, I have no idea what he was saying. Hold on. What the heck is that? I have to skip it, actually. Lord, then I will diamond hands your coin. Bow to me. Why are you making so many excuses, bro? Why? Because, oh, you know him. You're cool. You're cool with him. You're in contact. Faris, you're in contact with him. Is that why? Double standards and hypocrisy. What is that? Anyone understand what this idiot said? When this guy, listen, he will, he will put his picture here, hold on. I see his picture appearing. When this guy, he made a little comment, this guy, he called him apostate, ah, here, here. Great, but funnily enough, these very brothers, especially I'll, I'll mention one of them, Faris, um, this is specifically. This guy, he made a little statement, Lili Dawa called him apostate. He did not say he's God, he did not say he's Allah, he said all what he said that if we want to be caught a company the ruler of the muslim country is the one who should order it Lidawa, he schooled this guy he called him apostate he cursed him he said may allah destroy you just because he said we should obey the prince who is ruling the country if he command to do be caught with any company we do it and he is right, by the way. This is according to Islam. This is the way. The filthy scumbag, Aida, the hypocrite, 
He showered this guy with insult, calling him not Muslim, ex-Muslim, apostate, agent for Israel. May Allah curse you. May Allah destroy you. May Allah make you orphan, make your kids orphan. All those kind of curse. And now he's talking about him. More. What happened? Why are you talking about him? Assumptions for their brother, which is a good trait. But funnily enough, these very brothers, especially I'll, I'll mention one of them, Faris. Um, this is a specific individual. Why? Because when I had a debate with a scumbag, Dirt Apos, uh, the scum dealer, you know who you are, yeah, and I am proud of it, alhamdulillah. And I am proud of it, bruv. Yeah, capital. This is not the way to say proud of it, you idiot. Are you taking hormone? Proud of it. What happened? Punishment, alhamdulillah. I've been watching popcorn. I am proud of it, alhamdulillah. In an Islamic country, legally, yes? Nothing bounty hunted, none of that nonsense of, you know, someone going to, no, no, no. We're not, we're not about that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm not going to play more of this donkey. But as you see, <clears throat> the Muslims, they are flying in their flying carpet. Every scumbag, every junkie, he convert to Islam. They make celeb, they make a party, Allahu Akbar. But in fact, those people they bring nothing but junk, and even they deceive your childrens. How many Muslim now follow this guy? Huh? They will learn from him how to talk. They will learn from him how to act. How many Muslim girls is following and rotate? I mean, a Muslim girl, she look at, at, at uh, Lee Dawa and she look at Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, according to Muslims, is very convincing. He convinced more than Allah. You know? Especially when he smoke or he drink whiskey. Right? So, where is the, where is the whiskey of Andrew Tate? Uh, maybe I did not put it. Yeah, here, here, it's in the picture. <laughs> listen to me Muslims my foot is your Allah and you better bow down to me Allahu Akbar Christian Prince commit shark Allahu Akbar he is no Christian no more he just said his foot is God <laughs> if I say it they will make a drama about it and Tits say it it's okay brother it's okay Faith will come later, later, you know, we have to defend the pimp. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I turn my back to Indonesian Abdul. How I turn my back? What I will do? Somebody told you I speak Indonesian. I do make videos. You people download videos, make them, you know. If you can bring me Indonesian Abdul, give, bring him to me. What turn back? I don't speak, you know, the only uh, the only Indonesian word I know is orang orang. Do you think I can debate them using it? Huh? Like I said to you, to him, like your prophet is so stupid, orang orang. What turn your back to the Indonesian? What are you talking about? Same time, I'm very hairy. You don't know which one is my back, which one is my front. Even Muhammad, he spoke about me in the hadith. How in the world do you want to know? What my back? What are you talking about? You have no idea talking about what? Unbelievable. So, uh, uh, Andrew Tate, he made a comment saying, I, uh, let me clarify. There is only one God, Allah, the King, the Lord. I am from the street. Some terms are used, a reference for being a boss. <laughs> I am from the street. That's that's true. That's true. You are a, you are a whore. You are just a whore. So he's saying them. Well, you know, this is the language always I use. You know, you remember I'm a gang, you know, I'm, I'm skin back. So they don't uh, go after me for what I say. Uh, my mistake behalf, I fear no man or criticism apart from Allah. Hold on. If you fear no man, you, but, but you fear Allah. Why you mention that you are God? You do not know. Are you, are you mature or you are a kid? Huh? 
Are you afraid now if you want to go to Dubai, Dubai, they will not give you papers? If you were able to escape from jail? This is the whole idea of converting to Islam. He was planning if he feel like he paid the police. This is why he hired a whore. She was an ex-police officer in Romania. And his bodyguard is a police officer too from Romania, which means ex-police officer. So he, he, he hired them. So if they hear any news that there is a case against him because he knew he's a criminal. So he will fly, he will go to Muslim countries. This is why he said he bought seven passports, which means he bought seven citizenship. Only people who they are afraid from something bad they did, they will seek a new passport, a place. And those all those passports, they have no agreement of delivery of a criminal between them and America, between them and England, between them and European unions. So he shows in carefully countries who they they cannot ask the government to surrender him this is why he bought citizenship there and this is why he converted to islam the whole idea of islam for him is just a backup plan so he can get support he knew what is coming and if now if they let him go or even if they don't he might be able you know like this is why he asked if he if they can release him from uh, uh, to visit england but the, simply the reason he wanted to do that, he want to get his passport back. And then by going somewhere, and this is before England asked for his arrest. Now if he go to England, he have another case there waiting for him. So he is trying his best to escape and go to a Muslim country. Like, uh, uh, I will give an example, like Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, uh, he is wanted in India. So he went to Malaysia. And there they give him asylum. So the only place those you convert to Islam, you are a gang, you are a celebrity, they will protect you because there is a use of you. They will they, they have a use for you. The whole point is there is a use of this guy. If the person who says I am God bow down to me is a different person, they will curse him, they will wash wash the floor with him, you know, especially if he is a born Muslim. But this guy is important for them and they want him for their propaganda but it, it doesn't work i mean he might uh, he might attract the stupid ones between you but those stupid ones they will not in increase value of islam they will make islam more stupid i mean who is the one who is under the influence of such a scumbag unless he's a scumbag you know human being uh there's degrees you see like we say all human beings are equal God created us equal, blah, blah, all those things. But in reality, the Lord He gave us who is equal, who is not. From their fruits you shall know them. So the equal as a human being, yes. The equal as we have a soul and, you know, God gave us a gift, a soul. This body should be respected, yes. But is people are equal? No. Because the fruits is what make you better or lower. It's not because of your color, it's not because of your height, it's not because of your look, but because of the fruit. So those who they are under influence of scumbags, they are the bad fruit of the society. Like, you know, this guy uh, and many here and there, they, they listen to him, the trucker Carson. Trucker Carson, just a few days ago, he made an interview with the uh, president of Salvador, who is a Muslim undercover. He claimed that he became a Christian so he can get elected. And then he took over the country and now he is the leader of a big gang in Salvador. So Trucker Carson, he have interview with him and he made him like the most successful person in the history of governing and everybody have conspiracy against him. And you know those stupid ones like one of you one of you he sent me an email saying do you think a, a muslim guy he can have such a good quality on him uh, first of all is he don't claim to be muslim but he's a muslim undercover this guy when he took an oath he took an oath in the bible but he is a palestinian he is a from hamas he is a muslim and this is how they sneak into the government and they take over trucker carson 
brought the guy and made him the most successful person in history. And then those who they are under the influence of Rucker Carson, they will believe what Rucker Carson says. And this is why Rucker Carson himself, he went to meet with such a person like Andrew Tate's because both of them, they are the same equality. Tell me who is your friends, I'll tell you who you are. Tell me who is your friends. I do not need to, <laughs> to check your credit card because you might have a lot of money in the bank. You might live in a nice fancy area where all uh, you know, streets are clean and gardens are uh, flourishing. With hey, it's Tucker Carlson. Shut up, son of Muta. But those people, they can have influence on the naive. And this is why the naive, they got under the, the impact so easy, so fast. In fact, what? this guy, each time he laughed, he showed me the way he talked, the way he moved. He showed me that he is mentally ill. It's only one way. I don't want to change topic, but just to show you how garbage works. Mr. President, thank you for having us. Thank you, Tucker. At your thank Camp you. David, which is beautiful. <laughs> um, so you were inaugurated two days ago. This is a small country, and yet your inauguration was international news was everywhere. Why? Why do you think that is? Well, it was a shock for, for us, too. I mean, we know we knew that a lot of uh, people were, was, uh, were coming, and, and I mean, that will draw some attention, of course. We have uh, we had big delegations from a lot, with 110 countries. Um, so of course it, that will draw news because you know if a chancellor comes from a country, then he brings his you know his media team and that, and that will create some news over there. And if a president comes or a king comes, that will create some news. Even you you came, so you know, that creates some news. <laughs> but uh, why were they coming? Why they're coming? Well, I, I don't know. Different different reasons, of course. I I. I I mean, look at this stupid question. They are coming because they are invited, you scumbag. Do you know anything about protocol of government? People don't come by themselves. You send a hundred ticket, hundred people come. You send a thousand ticket, thousand people come. Why, why they are coming? Because you're amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, you guys, you can't see my screen, sorry. But anyway, but this is this is an example of the stupidity of those people. Why, why they are coming, why? Huh? Like, why they are coming for the sake of the shin of Allah? You must be unique, man. Is it because your legs is nice? What happened? The president comes or a king comes, that will create some news. Even you, you came, so... No, that you came, why you came? Because you're invited to... Create some news, but... Uh, why were they coming? Well, I, I don't know. Different, different reasons, of course. I, I, I could ask you, why did you come, right? <laughs> I can ask you, why did you come? <laughs> oh, boy. So, you know, uh, and, and, and there's many people, they, have, they are under influence of those scumbags. And many stupid so-called Christians, they think that this guy is conservative. This guy is a pimp. The one who defend the pimp is a pimp. The one who is a friend is a whore. He is a whore. The one who is relative and friends and he shared the quality of a drug dealers. He is a drug dealer. And yet this person have a lot of influence in big number of people. So I'm not surprised. I mean, if Andrew Tate's have influence, at least this guy supposedly is a journalist. But there's nothing in his, the business he do have to do with journalism. This guy, he went to the shopping mall in Russia and he was showing us how cheap it is. The stupid, he forgot that the Russian people there, their salary is not even $300. He said, let me show you what $100 what can do here. And the stupid American like, wow, all of this? He bought one ball in, 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 in Russia of wine for six dollars, well, in Walmart is five. <laughs> and remember, in Russia, people don't get paid like in America. There's only few people who they are the billionaire, trillionaire. And the 99% of the Russian, their salary is not even 100, 200. You know, there's a video you can search right now. 
and see how much average go right now search don't don't search for christian prince video search how much russian a russian he is the one who did the interview he go he speak to teacher he speak to engineer he speak to a, a high tech uh, he speak to uh, 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 a woman she work in school uh, uh, nursing uh, all kind of jobs and you will see how sad the salary is so this guy now his job he decided he was going to praise Putin so now because Putin is a president well the food is so free you go to Russia the food is for free and in Russia everything is safe just go right now and type gang in Russia I mean the Russian gangs is the most famous ones especially with the existence of the Muslim Kadarov gang in Russia. All the enemy of Putin, they were killed by a Chechenian person. It's a mystery. Anyone who opposed Putin is killed by a Muslim. From where? From Chechenia. It's an accident, accident. The guy who was walking in the bridge, he saw the opposition of uh, Putin. He put a knife in his chest. Things happened. And Trucker Carson is a person who defends democracy. And he is against the Democrats who do conspiracy. But in Russia, the biggest dictator in history, the one who is opponent, they disappear. Can you name for me one journalist in Russia can speak against Putin? I mean, this isn't, isn't this is enough evidence for anyone to know that this is a land of a dictator. But this has come back. He went there and he is appraising the same guy this, the, for the same reason. This guy, he made his family control the country. His father is a Muslim. There's pictures of him praying in the mosque. He claimed to be a Christian. He took an oath as a Christian. But in reality... He's a Muslim. There is a very strange relationship between Trekkar Carson and Islamic gang. Kadarov, Putinov, this Abdulov, Androtov. Very strong relationship. And now we saw the other whore. Her name is Kondanis. What her name? And many stupid Christians, I, I have to use the word stupid, sorry. They think that this woman is conservative. She said, Jesus, God, Christ is king. That's it. She's, uh, she's conservative. I mean, the one who say Christ is king, he must be a Christian. Right? A lot of stupidity, a lot of stupid people, a lot of dummy. And you know, if the people are dummy, so why you are going to be surprised if a dummy can fool them? That's why I say, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? I mean, a guy, he come and he said to them, I will make your endless, your penis endless if you convert to Islam. They convert. This is how a stupid a human being can go. I mean, that promise alone should be enough to prove that this guy is a scumbag. So... You have to be careful, you have to be aware, you have to teach your kids. Otherwise, those people, they are brainwashing everybody. Those people, they have conspiracy, everything for them. The only reason for their success is conspiracy. And all of them, they are hypocrite. Did he ever speak once against Trump? I mean, you are a journalist, you don't see that Trump, he did a lot of wrong too. A true journalist, he said things as it is. As it is, it is a matter about who. So how come Trucker Carson did not notice that Trump, his son-in-law, he rented his building to Qatar for one billion. But isn't it Trump who said that Qatar should stop supporting terrorism? Did the Trucker Carson make any topic about it? No. But Trucker Carson have a thousand video about Hunter Biden. So we see the scumbag Joe Biden and his family gangs, but we don't see Trump family. What kind of journalist you are? Like you are my friend, I will not talk about you. True people, if they have little dignity, 
they say things as it is it doesn't matter about who including themselves if I do wrong I say I'm wrong right is it possible that this guy he never saw all the wrong of the family of Trump all the gifts all the investment coming from Saudi Arabia to his daughter and to his son-in-law aren't they those are official in the government they are, those are official in fact I assure you that the daughter of a Trump and his son-in-law they sold their father-in-law they are the one who gave the information about him about his tax about everything the FBI made a deal with them if you don't want us to go after your bribes will give us something about your dad that's why you don't see them next to him no more they disappear totally you don't see his daughter anywhere close to him you don't see his son-in-law close to him anywhere they are gone because they sold him out so you have to be careful and don't listen to those people celebrity is not your god celebrity is not the one who will think for you unless you are a stupid fool you have to be smart you have to think for yourself otherwise those scumbags will take advantage of you they get so rich and you stay poor Andrew Tetz is helping generation to do what to open pen business I will teach you how to lure a woman into business of camera how she open her legs and how you can dominate her how you can treat her like shit so she will worship you and then those scum back of this earth like wow this is what I'm looking for now I know I can be successful in life this is the truth those are the one you look at them highly they are a scum back that condanus she worked in the Jewish company most of her life she made millions millions of dollars now she became so famous she do not need them and she found that now supporting Palestinians it's more profitable that's the whole story it's about where is the money when the Jews were the money she was with the Jews she never said the Christ is king all her life until she is being fired so she want to show herself in front of the Christians see he fired me because I said the Christ is king that's not the real reason she is supporting Hamas because this is where the money is she saw the change she said in her video and I made a video about it she said look there's a big change happening in America let us not to blind ourselves look at the street a big change happening in America so she decided to follow the trend and Trucker Carson is no different he made hundreds of millions of dollars from a station he called it a fake news station Fox News well if Fox News was fake stations and I agree because all of you are fake well why you work in it because you are decent right and you did not leave they, they fired you I mean look at him he did not even leave they fired him not because he's decent but because he could not prove what he's saying They sued the company, they lost hundreds of millions of dollars, and they fired him. Anyway. Yeah, I call him a trucker. I don't like to call him Takar. I don't know what Takar means. What what the heck? What Takar mean? I don't know. The name is strange for me. It doesn't sound right. I mean, Takar. I call him Trucker is better. It doesn't matter who fire him. You see, the hypocrisy is here. So I work for the devil. The devil pay me salary. 
The devil was not a devil until he fired me. Do you understand the point? If it is the devil, why he did not leave? Long time ago, he's not poor. I mean, this guy, he have money to stay living in a palace for the coming century. Why don't leave? All of them, they have a store, buy our t-shirt, buy our hat. I mean, in this country and in the West and in the world, I mean, people become a scumbag. Even Donald Trump, buy my, my hat. Make America great again. And then the hat is made in China. And the poor people give money. I voted for Trump. There's a billion negative thing about him. But even with the billion negative thing about him, is a billion times better than the stupid Biden. So I will vote for him again. For sure. There's no question about it. But not because he's uh, amazing. But we have no choice. There's one is an idiot. He sleeps standing like Suleiman when he died holding a stake. And he is giving the control for those woke society. You know, homosexual flag in the White House. I mean, what about you put a picture of someone die at war from those heroes? Shouldn't we remember the heroes of this country instead of putting the flag of, of the homosexual? What the flag of the homosexual have to do with the White House? In the day of the Easter, this coward Joe Biden, he put the flag of the homosexual in his balcony. In the White House. So this is why we have to vote and get rid of him because those stupid Democrats, the whole world is in chaos and they are busy in their anus and their in their penis. The whole world for them is about how to teach a child to be a transgender, how to teach a guy to be to pray wear a skirt, how to make a sign where boys and girls they can't go in the same bathroom. How do we make a man go and play basketball with the team of the women? You go around the world, you will find, this is why Andrew Tate's, many people like him, because he is speaking against those things, but doesn't mean he's good. He's a scumbag still. He's no better. He's just other other side of the story. He's a pimp. So we have to get rid of those, this government, Joe Biden, stupid. I mean, the guy yesterday, he went to make a speech against gun violence, whatever guns, something. And his son just was convicted two hours before of fabricating document to get a gun. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you longer. I uh, just want to warn you. Don't listen to those people. Don't let them your guidelines for anything. Uh, you know, those are liars even when they say the truth. And I'll explain to you what does that mean. I can say the truth to lie to you. And there's many, many examples of that. As an example, Muhammad says Mary was a virgin. Why Muhammad, he said that? He don't believe in Jesus. The guy, he said he want to have sex with Mary. He's a scumbag. But this way, he can fool a Christian to get it close to him. So he, did, he opened the door. Oh, okay. Will he believe? And look, he believed even Mary was virgin. So now you as a Christian, you think about them differently. He's not against Christianity, really. Look, look, he believed in uh, uh, Musa, David, uh, Abraham. So, I mean, that's it. So, scumbags, they use the true names to make false stories. They can use a true story 
to fabricate another story. So you have to be careful about what they say to you. They are really scumbags. I would try to come back later at night, if I could. If not, I want to say thank you all for being here. And Andrew Tate, he seek forgiveness from Allah for calling himself God. And he said he is a street guy. He don't mean it. Well, street man will stay a street man. A garbage man will be always garbage man. If you think you can make a pimp a holy man, Muslims, then why you follow Muhammad? This is the biggest pimp in history. Right? Yeah. All right, I want to say thank you all. May the Lord bless you. God is good, so is Jesus. And I will try to come later at night if I could. If not, until I see you maybe tomorrow. Take care.